Hey gang, welcome back to the channel, Post Family Pilgrimage. On this episode, we're taking that guy out right there, kind of giving it a shakedown for the day. We're gonna go do some kayak fishing. So I'm gonna pull some of the gear off of here that I'm not gonna need for the day. I don't need sleeping bags, I don't need fire pits, you know, some of that stuff. We're airing up the tires right now, and then we are gonna head out to a big old pond where I've done some other videos before, really just the kayak fishing. And, uh, and we're just gonna see how she does. I've got the day off today. Today is the day after Easter. So I believe that means it's April 10th. And uh, we're going to see if we can get some fish to bite. It's warm weather. It is nice. It is officially spring. So let's do this. Thing up getting that last tire aired up completely and we're gonna roll out all right gang as you can see the boats kind of floating back there behind us uh, I'm pretty stoked so far this is my first test run with the boats on the trailer period since we uh, got them all installed in fact I meant to show you that I also got the, uh, uh, what's it called? Pool noodles. The pool noodles attached. Uh, you can probably see it, that red right there on that bar up underneath the kayak is exactly what that is, or the kayaks. Anyways, we're all set, headed to the water. Let's catch some fish. Uh, gang, we're getting closer. I'm just driving, thinking it is an absolutely beautiful day, spring day. Uh, April 10th, 68 degrees outside, perfect weather for fishing, and it just dawned on me, this is not only the first time to have the kayaks on the trailer, this is the first time to have the Walkabout 87 on the trailer. So I haven't even, uh, I hadn't even driven the trailer out of the driveway uh, with, the, with the bigger tent on top. So I'm excited, uh, it feels good, the whole thing feels great. Forerunners pulling it great. Uh, I like it was designed just for this. It's a pretty darn good feeling when you finally get what you were going for all set up, finished out, and uh, and ready to roll. And we be rolling. I'm pretty pumped to get this thing on the water. The boat's on the water, or at least my boat today, on the water here in just a minute. So maiden voyage, trailer pulled perfect. I am so excited, it looks so good. Um, we're gonna get on this water. But if you know me well enough, I can't just throw the boat in and go. I'm gonna have to run along this bank real fast, just seeing what all I can do. Cause it has been uh, since fall, since I've been here to fish at all. I'm pretty excited. All right. Let's get after it. Let's just slide her on down. That was fairly simple. All right. We can do this every time. We're set. So I wanted to show you these. These are new. These are just plugs for the boat. So I'm just going around, plugging up the holes in here. Absolutely loving these. 
Uh, and I'm just going around and pushing them down with the pliers further. So that way water won't just leak in. Years past, I've got my butt wet almost every time I go out. So I'm pretty excited to have these in here now. Look what I found laying in my box. Yay. Yay for an anchor today. Thank you, Jesus. All right. I already feel better having that guy right there. Yeah. Let's grab the poles. Let's get in the water. All right, we are all set, y'all. I haven't been this excited to get on the water in a long time trailer made this so much easier so let's do it oh, hey there we go got one yeah we'll take it this one right here yeah not too bad. Y'all, yeah, so this is my uh, Swiss Army Knife Huntsman. I did a video on this uh, actually earlier today. Feel free to go check that out if you're interested. Um, I'm a huge fan of these. And uh, this is always this has kind of been a great go-to fishing tool. And I'm loving it now all the more because of the blue. So I'll put a link in the description. You can check that video out. A little bit better. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, you're He's going to splash me around, though. <laughs> Got one, y'all. It's finally bigger. Oh, yeah. They're getting bigger. Look at that guy. Nice. There we go. <laughs> Splash me a bit in the bucket. why it's tangling like that it's that spider wire kind of getting jumped up you know uh, with that last one I wasn't even actually reeling uh, I just paddled back and I was letting my line set so that might have something to do with it couple of good ones in there. Cast off of this side here. Oh, oh, there he is. There we go. Much better. That's three. Actually, that's a fourth, but... Perfect. Of all days, I ran off and left my needle nose at home. So what I was telling you guys earlier was that I ran off and forgot my bucket. Because Dennis had asked me to take some of these out of here. So Missy, his wife, saw me out here. And she said, I'll go get you a bucket. And that was awesome. Not only do they hook me up with an incredible place to fish. 
even went and got me a, a bucket. This is a bait I've been wanting to try for some time. Look at how real this guy looks. So we'll see, uh, we'll see just how real the fishies think it looks. There we go. Oh, yes. Now we're talking, folks. Now we are talking. Look at that. That is why we are here. Yeah. Much better. Let's see. <laughs> First fish difference. And this guy right here. Heck yeah. Let's get that first one out of there. Worst part about treble hooks. And yet, some of the best part. He's a better fish. Look at that guy. All right, y'all. Well, that's the biggest fish I've caught in a while. And right there off the new bait. Heck yeah. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's see if we can catch some more of those. Oops. Because we know they're in there. That's a great size fish. Now these little ones, he's asked me to take out and rehome, and it's just for that very reason. It's so that the bigger fish, or some of the fish, can get bigger, thin out the food eating selection, and makes for a healthier pond. Something to be mindful of when a, uh, a property owner allows you to come fish and says, hey, you know, get rid of some of the small ones, you throw them up on the bank or whatever, he really is controlling his, uh, the growth and the size of the fish. Uh, you know, I don't know if you saw any of my videos, but last year I, I struggled to fish any decent sized fish out of here. Um, and then years before that, I was catching nine pounders. I never caught a single large one out of here, even the size of what I just did last year at all. And so it's just like anything else. You control the you can control the size better by also controlling the amount of fish. Yeah, I should have wore the pants. My legs are feeling it. There we go. So I cast it way on behind me. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Not the biggest, but oh my gosh, so much fun. That's it. Oh, catch and release, folks. Doggone it. It's all right. That was a good size one. Further on down there, just a ways. Doggone it. There we go. Whoa. Putting up a fight. We'll take it. You boys got to get along in there. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Woo, fighting it. Yeah. We'll take you. 
Nice. Look at that. One more hook. I thought I could do it. Man. There we go. <laughs> Hard part about these barbs. There we go. Nice. Heck yeah. Settle down, children. Ooh, never realized that was there. If you can see this, it's a crates underneath me, pallets. Can you see that? Huh. Never knew those were there. Kind of just shallower than these two. Oh, my gracious. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Saddle. Saddle in the bucket. All right. Not my best cast. I'll try that again here. There we go. This is, oh, yeah, there we go. Oh man. This has been the one lure I've been wanting to get out here and practice with and work with. And so this is one of those H2Os that I picked up back in December. They had them on sale at Academy for $4.99. And uh, as you can tell, y'all, they look impressive to us. And apparently they look impressive to the fish as well. Man, the solid hit. There we go. Got him. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Looky there, looky there, y'all. That's about all the fish I can fit in that bucket. Not bad. I didn't get that. Could you try? <laughs> Siri said not. Didn't didn't get it. She didn't get it. I'm not sure how many fish I've caught. That's a lot of fish in there though. All right, let's take it to the bank. Well, gang, <laughs> I just I just tripped with my bucket and they all swam away. 
and it was eight bass and one perch doggone it eight bass one perch and they all gone there's one jumped right there stink all right gang well that was an awesome time caught about what nine ten fish uh some decent bass and then that bucket there at the end man uh, I felt so stupid. I uh, I don't know if you saw it, but completely dumped the whole bucket on accident trying to get water in there to uh, just to give the fish some extra water between Dennis's house and my dad's house. And uh, one got out, and so I scooped down to get more water, and the whole bucket fell over. Lost them all. <laughs> uh, oh well, who cares? Absolute blast. Had fun. Perfect day beautiful weather now it's 72 i think it was 68 when i was going fishing uh, a few hours ago so just an awesome time to get out to catch some fish to test out the kayaks on the trailer the the uh, rooftop tent on the trailer running 65 miles an hour everything's going uh per feeling perfectly smooth it's all packed down with all of my camping gear so i'm ready to go on our next trip and this was a perfect little opportunity to try all the gear out just to see how it uh it performed anyways that's gonna wrap it up hey i'm wearing our post family pilgrimage t-shirt if you're interested in those you can get those at it uh at shop overland apparel.com i'll put the link in the description also all the baits uh everything that i use today i'll put that in the description for you guys as well have a wonderful day that wraps this one up if you haven't done so do us a huge favor Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, that is going to do it. We'll catch you on the next one. See you guys.